So, we're waiting for startup on the maiden wash of the Dominion automatic washer, the very rare and unusual 1958 model. Um, I've got a set of double sheets in there, which is the equivalent of about an eight pound load, uh, the recommended capacity of the machine. So here we go, we got the hot water running in, and that will run in, as I say, for about four and a half minutes. So let's come back and see what the washing action looks like with some clothes in there. And there we go. We have wash startup. I had to keep the lid closed there for a while during the latter part of the fill uh, because the hot water was actually spraying out on the top of the, uh, the machine. So There we go. The first time this machine has washed in years, probably about 15, possibly 20 years since it was last used. But uh, it's come back to life very nicely, I should think. Oh, I guess about three quarters of the way through the wash cycle here. Getting some decent rollover in the clothes, not too bad at all. Eh, fairly small tub, so I guess that won't be as much of a concern to me because I never load my machines very much anyway to begin with, right? So, but she's washing nicely. Alright, so wash has just stopped and we're going to go into the spray and spin part of the cycle with the actual clothes in the machine. I mean, that is pretty neat. A spray rinse in a solid tub. It's like if a Frigidaire and a Whirlpool had kids. Amazingly quiet spin, too, on this machine. Something I certainly hadn't expected for a uh, 1958 model. Never found the product specs on this machine to, uh, to find out what the uh, actual spin speed was, but I'm thinking it's pretty up there, at least 400 RPM by the look of it. close the lid on the uh, rinse fill cycle. I've got a little bit of an issue with that uh, spray coming in from the fill, so I just don't want water getting all over my 1951 Kenmore right next door to the Dominion, so we'll come back in a sec. OK, 
Okay, so did a little tweaking on the timer, and uh, here we've actually got the overflow section of the rinse. So you can actually hear the water spilling out of the inner tub into the outer tub. Uh, Ala Frigidaire, and uh, just very curious, you'll just see in a moment the agitation will begin again with the overflow rinse. So, again, very Frigidaire. Of course, Dominion's idea here was to let soap scum float out from the rinse water. So. We're getting a pretty thorough rinse here going. Most impressive. And there we go. The overflow has stopped. Continue on with a deep rinse. And uh, funny, I mentioned Whirlpool before, but very Whirlpool-like rinsing in that the uh, sheets tend to puff up. Something that I've always noticed with my Whirlpool machines. Don't ask me why. Spin and spray rinse with clothes in. Well, that's it. We've just cycled off with the first test love wash of clothes in the 1958 Dominion Automatic. Just letting her spin down. And uh, let's have a look how we did. Not bad. Not bad at all. Reasonably dry. Ready to go into the newly restored. Lady Kenmore dryer next door to it, but uh, I would say this was a success. However, I still have some work to do on that uh, fill valve. I'd really like to get it back to the original one, so at some point I will, but uh, in the meantime, I got myself a working, very rare, very unusual, Canadian-made Dominion washer here.